good morning everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Erin what's up I put out keto what I eat in a day videos pretty much every single day uh, I would also really like it if you could hit the like button and if you're new here hit subscribe and also the bell notification so you know when to see the face let's get in the video If this is any determination as to how today is going to go, I'm in for a treat. Really glad I looked down. These people are decorated for Halloween. It's September 9th. Whatever. You do you. Good morning. It's Monday. I had to run the trash out because he forgot to take it to the curb. And, like, they were at the next house over. I'm like, no, don't not take our trash. Breakfast is non-existent. I'm going to have some iced coffee when I get to work. I brought this. So that is Snickerdoodle Keto Chow, two tablespoons of pecan oil, a little bit of xanthan gum and some water. Dinner, I think I'm gonna make him some hamburger helper. I will have leftover casserole from last night because it is delicious. It was very good. Um, it's kind of beef stroganoff-y with a little bit of a cheese thing going on. It was really good, I liked it. Next time I make it, I think I might try it with chicken. Sounds really good, right? I think that sounds superb. Uh, debating stopping and getting another bottle of iced coffee because I think I'm almost out. That venti one takes like a lot of the iced coffee. All right, guys. I don't think I'm going to stop and get coffee. I can go on my lunch break and get that. But I will talk to you all later. I will let you know how the chow tastes. I haven't tasted it yet. Coffee. That was all syrup. Um, so I used the rest of my cold brew three tablespoons of coconut creamer, the So Delicious, as well as some pumpkin cheesecake syrup. So that I walked into a rental and four new opportunity calls, all of which I had to do in under 15 minutes, including the rent. Like I had to do the rental and I was supposed to call the people back within 15 minutes. I did it. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Guys, I came home to a little package from Chomps. They sent me like their little sample pack. So that was super sweet. Um, I do really like Chomps. I just haven't gotten around to reordering them. Uh, there is a link in my bio if you guys want to save. I think it's 15% off. I really like their meat sticks. Their Italian is amazing. It tastes like meatballs. It's just like straight up meatballs. It's really good. Hey, so I was also sent this. So this is by a company called Low Carb. Low Carb? Like it's just, I think it's just called Low Carb. Um, I'm going to look up the name of the company. I will put it in. My hair is doing some stuff, but they sent me this low carb granola. It is a nut granola. One third of a cup is 18 grams of fat, 10 carbs, four fiber, four sugar alcohol. So you're looking at two net carbs, five protein, um, sliced almonds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, coconut chips, pecans, erythritol, monk fruit, butter, and cinnamon. So super clean. Um, we're going to give this a shot. We're going to taste it on camera with you guys because to, to be quite honest, I'm starving. Like I'm really hungry. Uh, did I not open it all the way? They have resealable packaging, which is nice. So they sent me the cinnamon almond pecan flavor, as you could guess. So, literal nuts. Wow. That's really good. It tastes like pie crust. That's delicious. They also gave me a code for you guys. I'll put it up. Um, yeah, that's really good. I'm gonna shove some food in my face. I'll show you what it is. I had this. So this is a nice little surprise. I was not expecting this. So I had this salt and pepper venison before Dave got home so I could eat it and so he didn't steal it. So I don't know what the deal is with me today, but I'm so hungry that I'm nauseous. Like, I've had two trenty sized cups of iced coffee and I'm starving. Like, I'm concerned. <laughs> it's gonna rain. I'm legit concerned. Like, I have not been this hungry in a really long time. Down, maybe you wouldn't want my truck. Just I'm going home. I was gonna have that snickerdoodle pecan oil 
chow. I tasted it. It ain't the greatest. Um, I thought maybe it would taste like a candied pecan. Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> I think if I added a little bit of cinnamon to it, it might. But uh, for now, I'm just going to let it kind of chill in my fridge. Um, I watched the Keto Fit Chef, and he did a jalapeno popper chaffle. And I have some stuff that I think I could make, like the Lazy Man's version, where I don't have to cook the jalapenos. Um, and I have pre-cooked bacon. So really, all I'm going to do is go home and make a chaffle and add some cream cheese and jalapeno slices and some pre-cooked bacon. And I'm going to have a jalapeno chaffle for dinner, or for my lunch. I'm hungry. I will link his video down below. Go check that out. Because it's like if you actually want to put the work into it and like cook your jalapenos, by all means. But I only get a half hour. So <laughs> ain't nobody got time to be cooking some jalapenos. Plus I'd have to go buy them. But I have jalapeno slices. So we're going to do that. I will show it to you when it is all done. Guys, this is so good. I have no words. So good. I'm a hot mess today. I just did an Instacart order. We needed Q-tips and Drano and light bulbs. And I decided I wanted rotisserie chicken for dinner. Don't come at me that I just went grocery shopping. Okay, I love me some rotisserie chicken. And I'm running a little high on fat. Um, not really, I still have like 60 something grams, but the broccoli casserole stuff that I was gonna have that's left over is like super fatty. So I didn't really want to waste all of my macros on like five or six ounces of that. Um, Cause you know your girl likes to eat, all right? I like to divvy up my macros. <laughs> so um, that's pending Publix has it. Cause if they don't, I just said don't replace. Um, but I'll have that. And then I also got this stuff called grilling cheese where it's just like a patty that you cook and it's supposed to be like a grilled cheese sandwich. So we'll see how that is if they even have it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to wait for that to arrive and then go home because I am tired. Okay, you're blurry. Much better. So Instacart just arrived. They actually had everything I ordered and he grabbed me a bag of salad, which is awesome. So dinner is rotisserie chicken and salad. I also grabbed this. This is not facing the right direction and it's super full. So I'm like nervous. So it is a plant-based keto drink. It has MCT oil, kind of similar to the thing I tried the other day. It's in cake batter flavor. It smells like cheap lip gloss, like Claire's brand cheap lip gloss. Why is it gritty? Ew. Oh, I was so stoked because Catherine Solemn tried them. And I was going to drive all the way over into Mobile to get them because she got them at Whole Foods. And I saw them on the Instacart app and I'm like, oh, I'll give it a shot. It's on sale for $3.69. Is the first ingredient in here sand? Coconut milk, Koya primary protein blend, which is brown rice protein, pea protein, and chickpea. Coconut water concentrate, MCT oil, chicory root fiber, sunflower lectin lecithin, whatever it is, natural flavor, sea salt, monk fruit, extract, locust bean gum, gallon gum, and vanilla beans. Why am I drinking it? So, it's gritty. It leaves a film. Ugh. All right, so this is dinner. So I have salad with rotisserie chicken. And then I added, you can see them here, just the last of the peppered habanero, um, these things. The pork clouds, habanero pepper pork clouds. Um, ew, I need to clean that up. And I added that and then my dressing is two tablespoons of mayo, four tablespoons of the honey mustard, the G Hughes, and then some chipotle hot sauce mixed together and then thrown all over this. It's delicious. It's like a spicy Chick-fil-A sauce and I'm very much so here for it. I am going to go and plate his up. He is having, trigger warning, macaroni and cheese with a rotisserie chicken in it because I am a gourmet like that. And I am going to devour this. And then I'm gonna finish up with a bone bar. A bone bar, that's not right. Built bar, bone bar is probably something completely different. Um, 
I'm gonna put a banana chocolate one in the freezer and let it firm up for a little bit. And then I will talk to you guys in the morning. Do not forget to like and subscribe and comment. And I love you all. Bye.